that song in the rehearsal room on the floor and like the first idea I had um, it was just la 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 that mm -hmm. sometimes if you don't <laughs> come up with words yet you just go la 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 and I really liked the way it sounded and um, writing lyrics to it would have kind of destroyed the melody like the vibe that it has and then I was hiking in the mountains with my father and um, he was uh, really excited, he was always pointing out little avalanches everywhere, he's like, oh my god, it's an avalanche, oh my god, it's an avalanche, oh my god, it's an avalanche. And then I got the idea to um, create a song about a, um, like a suicide cult, which consists of these weird humanoid whatever creatures, and they um, take people into the Alps and they yodel, which makes the avalanche come down and then cover the people with snow, so they die. And that's how I got the idea to, to create this word play with avalanche and to make a, a kind of mantra out of it. And the whole story then just developed. Filming a video to a song called Avalanche in the Desert may seem like we didn't have a plan, which in fact we did, and that was the plan, to film the video in the desert. The lyrics are abstract, the story of the song is abstract, so we wanted to make the video a bit abstract as well and represent what was happening in the lyrics just with imagery and with symbolism. In order to understand the song, you need to understand the art of simplicity. I try to keep the guitars very simple in Avalanche to match the atmosphere of the song and just to give um, more room to the vocals, more focus to the vocals. From the perspective of a drummer, what I wanted to do in Avalanche is experiment with simplicity and keep to a very strict uh, theme of playing just uh, as few notes as possible. But with that it would, of course, which I think fits the mood and the character of the song and of the riffs and of the lyrics very well. It was a really fun shoot as well, even though it was not, in hindsight, the most pleasant location to shoot with a big black hood, as it was some 30 degrees in the shade, I believe, and we did have to fit all the shooting in as little time as possible, so I think that was about 18 hours of shooting that went into that particular video. Can't wait to share them with you. I will play some tender riffs.
I will rest in peace.